All right, Uncle Sam FM here, and this is episode 17 of my American Football 19 series on Football Manager 19 as we <clears throat> really kind of wind down the end of the FM 19 cycle heading into FM 20. And I am still with Michigan State, and I have advanced to the Big Ten Tournament Final to play against the third-seeded Rutgers, who kind of had a, a mini upset over Michigan to get to the final. <clears throat> and I also, um, well, I'll kind of set it up. So I had a Chattanooga Red Wolves came to me and offered me an interview. And Chattanooga Red Wolves, for those that don't know, are in USL League One, which is the third level of American soccer. And I was kind of keen to take the job. So I went to the interview and felt pretty good about it. I did tell them, though, that I was actually not... Um, I wanted to wait until the end of the Michigan State season, which was about a month away at the time. And um, then, actually, forward Madison FC, who also is in the um, USL League One, <clears throat> offered me an interview. Either of those jobs I would like to have taken. Probably, I was kind of a little more interested in Madison, but they both fell through. And I'm thinking that it's because I I wanted to wait till the end of the season. I told both of the clubs that, and so so they went other directions. So that's fine. I you know I'll stay with Michigan State. Well, my plan was to just kind of stay with Michigan State, and so um, so <clears throat> then something interesting happened, and Tab Ramos took the job with St. Louis FC and Tab Ramos is for those that don't know coaches coach from well, right now in real life coaches the USA under 20s team youth team and um, he's done a really great job actually he's he's taken the US to the quarterfinals I think in the last three maybe four um, U20 World Cups might just be three <clears throat> but he's 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 been phenomenal and so uh I guess he parlayed that success to this job with St. Louis FC, who now is in Major League Soccer in, in my game, in my save. I've set it up to where they that happens, and they did an expansion. So uh, I went ahead and threw my name in the, in the ring for the U.S. Under-20 job. And as you can see, I got it. Uh, we'll, we'll do a real quick look. I'm, this episode is about Michigan State, but I... Just to kind of look, I took the job. I didn't realize Tab Ramos left in the middle of the CONCACAF Under-20 Championship. And this is how you qualify for the Under-20 World Cup. So I will now find myself playing against Mexico, which really is kind of a must-win situation. Um, the rules are, I guess, let's see. Um, if you want to make it to the second round? I really not, I'm not familiar with the Under-20 championship how you actually qualify for the world cup because i think the the concacaf gets four teams um so but i i'm not i'm gonna try and win all the matches right it'd be stupid to approach it any other way so um but i have a tough group uh, i have mexico and panama i would rather have any of these three teams than either of these um panama and mexico are probably you probably have the top three teams uh, in this round in the same group um so i mean down here you've got it it's a it's a it's a pillow fight down here and up here it's it's going to be a struggle so um and not to mention that the team that tab ramos called in is not built very well um as you can tell they've been really overworked there you know that happens at this tournament the matches are like two days apart and so everybody gets really fatigued but he has three goalkeepers on a on a 20 player squad which is just, I mean, I don't know if that's the rules, but that's absurd. And he also only has two players who can play center back. I don't know what he was thinking when he built this team. So somebody eventually is going to have to play out of position. So, But that's what I'm dealing with. I'm kind of looking forward to that. As a matter of fact, after this Michigan State season, I'm going to go ahead and resign from that job and, and roll with the under-20s um, through this cycle and maybe one more. And maybe, you know, it depends if I can win the World Cup. I doubt I will. That's a big ask. Especially, well, I mean, if I qualify, I'll be able to call up my own players. But um, if I don't win it the first round, I'll give it another go and hopefully kind of build up my reputation, be able to get one of those League One jobs. Um, or, hey, maybe USL Championship. Probably it's unlikely to be able to jump from MLS from the under 20, but that's what Tab Ramos did. So, so we'll see. <clears throat> so that's kind of where I stand um, with the under 20s. With Michigan State, um, I, you know, 
I think we last saw the draw with Michigan uh, in the last match of the season, which turned out to be a, if I'd have lost that game, Michigan probably would have won the Big Ten tournament and would have been the number one seed, which would have kind of changed how the tournament laid out. But I did get a golden goal win against uh, Indiana. It was almost literally the last minute. Um, it was the 115th, Steve Weiss with the penalty. And so I took all three points, <clears throat> took the number one seed, Big Ten regular season champion for the second year row. Went to the Big Ten tournament and played Indiana, who was the eighth seed. They had to beat Maryland to get to the quarterfinal. Um, got a 1-0 win on them thanks to a, uh, a corner kick goal by my center back, Liam Gillard. We dominated the match, but couldn't really create much. And then Ohio State, um, we we dominated the game. Well, it was, I tell you what, the first half was actually really close. But I got a goal right out of the gate in the second half. And then they had a player sent off, and that just opened up the floodgates. Scored three more goals and won four to zero, which brings me to Rutgers, who, as we'll see real quick, we'll look at there. This is their um, uh, whatever. We'll look at the at their team. <clears throat> they uh, won the quarterfinal in golden goal against Penn State, and then beat Michigan with the game winner in the 80th minute from Jorge Mattingly. And a quick look at their uh, their squad. <clears throat> they are going to be a little fatigued, and you know, I, I, I looked as I look at their squad. Their their top eleven, their best eleven players are going to come in not quite fully fit, which is going to cause me to play my best eleven. Even though we're not, I only have Antonio Moore is only a hundred percent because he was on suspension. Um, but the rest of my starting eleven is 93 94 my starting goalkeeper is actually on international duty called up by the bulgarian i think under 20s under 21s uh kirill ivanov so that means my backup Mike, michael mendez who i brought in just this season from western michigan is going to have to start um so instead of playing a fresh starting a fresh group my second 11 i'm going to roll my first 11 they're not quite as fit as I would prefer, but neither is Rutgers. So, so we'll see how this goes. <clears throat> Rutgers actually is... Uh, I beat them one to nothing in the regular season, but it was a hard-fought game. They are, um, they're one of three teams in the Big Ten, us, Michigan, and Rutgers, to only give up three goals. Um and you know they can score. They've had games like in the Big Ten. We we scored we scored two more goals than they did. Um, but they can score. There was there's some games where they scored three or four, and we know that our my team is not exactly. Uh, we're we're not breaking any goal scoring records, and so so this should be a good game. I you know, <clears throat> I feel like we've we've locked up our bid to the NCAA tournament whether we win or lose this match um so I'm not you know I'm not worried that the reserve result will keep us out of a chance to win the national title but you know you want to win the Big Ten tournament <clears throat> and and you can kind of see why they're so hard to score on they're packed in they play that 4-2-2-1-1 two, two, one, one, whatever you want to call that that uh, I call it an empty bucket 4-4-1-1 four, four, one, one, because they're you know the midfield's got that those two guys that hang back. Um, so hopefully, though, my fitness advantage will give me a give me a good chance to win. And had a chance on a free or a corner kick there. Ooh, that's a bad place to lose that ball. Oh, whew, Garza saves the day. Garza might be my best best player. He's definitely one of my top four or five players at center back. Ooh, so that's. That's why this team is dangerous. You 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 have to make them earn their goals, and we're really just kind of that's sort of how they play. They're one of those teams they play for set pieces. They try and, and they pack it in, and then hope to get a goal on a counter or a set piece. Whereas you know we we come in and try to outplay teams, so we kind of have a contrast of styles here. <clears throat> Again, I still apologize. I'm still recovering a little bit from my the um allergies that have been fighting <clears throat> it's kind of allergy season here in my part of the world all right Cantu lays it back to jones puts it out to johnson to bryant and we're just we're just farting around and we give it up 
See, we're missing, like, that's one of the big problems. We're missing that, you know, that pass, that deadly, lethal last pass. So the truth is, we've had to kind of rely on a lot of set piece goals. And you can see, like, they've got a, what is that, a PF, pressing forward. So let's do this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to undo my play out of defense. I don't know, I'm really just kind of <clears throat> swinging. I'm trying to make something happen. I, I thought about one of my <sighs> kind of thoughts was to ooh, head her into the hands of the goalkeeper. One of my um, possible thoughts was to, at halftime, just sub everybody, bring in my whole my fresh second team and see if they can get it done. <clears throat> Ideally, though, I'd, I'd like to get a goal or two in the first half and then, you know, I can play the first team a little longer and then put that fresh team in to sort of kill the game. My first team is, is obviously better, but at this level, it's really hard to, you know, there's not that big a difference between from my first to my second. Not a huge drop off. This passes like that. Like, what are you doing right there? What are you even doing? Like we're this is just like a free chance on you know free attack we allow them to have. <clears throat> I feel like they're sort of farting around, so I'm I'm gonna go positive. Let's just go positive. Let's ratchet it up a little bit, especially if they score a goal here, I'm gonna need to be going positive. And we get an offside call. Johnson is a free kick, kind of chipped it up, but nobody's there to finish it. Clark, what are you doing? Get it on the ground. I, uh, uh, it's obvious. I don't know like if you guys can tell. Oh, Ruiz wins the ball from the center back, but he can't finish. Can't finish. He needed help, probably. He needed somebody going far post to lay that ball across to. Uh, the players I'm dealing with are not... Well, they're as good or better than the players on the other team. Um... <laughs> they're not they they do a lot of dumb schoolboy mistakes <clears throat> a lot of face palm situations <clears throat> then going up to a positive um mentality seems to have helped a little bit so yeah, somebody about to get carded yeah garza garza that's that's one one he gets a lot of cards ooh and that was probably his foul right there that gave them that shot on that shot. <clears throat> All right, uh, I'm not gonna sub anybody out yet. Um, I mean we're we are the better team so far, but it's like I said, Rutgers packed in, making it tough. Making it hard, um, not asking a lot of their players, so they're probably conserving um, condition a little bit better than we are. Uh, I'm not gonna make any changes right now, though. So let's see if we can get this thing done. All right, back to Mendez. Does scare me that my backup goalkeeper is in for the championship. This is like a cup final. Well, it is a cup final. Uh, winner of this game gets an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. Johnson with the free kick puts it on target, but the goalkeeper is there. Just, just shy to not quite enough guile on that free kick from outside. Ruiz heads it right to the keeper. Harks, we're going to help him get a nice high rating. Uh, already had to make four saves. And they're picking up some yellow cards, so that's good news. I'm going to wait till the hour mark to start making my subs. Ooh, they got to throw in at a dangerous spot. And apparently they had somebody outside. Why did they even show that highlight? Hopefully to show this, get us getting this ball right here. All right, they're starting to come forward a little more, I think. 
Ooh, yeah, so let's let's just drop it back a little bit. Right through Ruiz. Bryant's crossing! Ah, Harks, I need you to just let one through, man. I need you to let one through. Okay, so let's start subbing. Uh, okay, Dunwell, I'm going to put you in. Hopefully you can go get that goal for me. And Luis Martinez with a freaking yellow card. You know what, let's take, let's take that turret off. Put in John Brooks. Um, yeah, David Booth and Frank Jones. That's a that's a no brainer. Is there basically the same play? Oh, that's not good. And while I'm trying to make my subs, we give up a goal. Oh, but it's been disallowed. Okay, whew, must have been offside. <laughs> they are really having the better of the run of play right now. Apparently. I'm gonna go back to positive. I mean, all right. Uh, I'm bring Caleb Wilson in. Let's get some more oomph there. I'm leaving more in. He's my best attacker by far. Uh, let's bring in Bernero and Ramirez. <clears throat> all right. I want to win the stupid tournament. So let's let's get it together. I'm gonna go ahead and demand more. Okay. I'm probably gonna leave more on all the way through. Weiss is good, but let's save him for extra time. Give Antonio more chance. Another another shot on target, but and yeah, Hark's up to a 6.9. Which I know is not crazy high, but we've we've tested him. Mm. Moore heads it back to Brooks. Brooks lays it out to Garza. Garza needs to get rid of that. What are you doing? Ugh. And then my goalkeeper just thumps it up to to nobody in particular. Oh, that's come on now. Is that Bryant? No, Ramirez. Give up a set piece. Okay, give me that ball. Yeah, so Moore goes and gets a card. Thankfully, it's just a yellow, but that means I'm going to take him off. You had your chance, Moore, but you went and got yourself carded. And I am going to take off Bryant. And let's just finish it out. Um, center back. Ease off tackles. Okay, last 10 minutes of, of regular time before we go into golden goal stoppage. Oh, Mayor makes Harks knock it out for a corner booth to Weiss, who just, I mean, in FM, it's really hard to get crosses in from out there, I've noticed. Well, it looks like we're going to go. We're going into stoppage. Weiss, for some reason, just puts it back to the center back. And we send it to a guy who's offside, right? Why not? <sighs> okay, so we're going to go into, <clears throat> into a golden goal. Extra time. Um, one goal wins it. All right, so let's get it done. Dressing room. <laughs> I don't want to tell him this, but I want all those green reactions. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, all right, so yeah, in pep talk, start extra time, and I'm right away going to start with the demand more shout. Booth crosses it in. Ah, we just can't fin get any of these in. You know, we've not been very good at unlocking their their defense. They're obviously pretty well organized. Oh, that sucks. I do have one guy I can bring in. Let me see if I... Oh, that's Rutgers. Yeah. So let's go ahead and sub him out. 
I'm using my last sub to bring in Bracamontes. Maybe this will end up being like some sort of brilliant move. Maybe, maybe Bracamontes will score the winner. <clears throat> yeah, so we've not been able to unlock their defense. So that means we've got to get a goal in one of those set piece opportunities. We've had plenty, right? We've had plenty. Eight on target. I, we, one of those, we've got to get one of those past the keeper. All right, start the second half. And you know what? Demand more. Come on, guys. I come on is to Brooks, to Wilson. Out wide to Del Campo. Campo wins the corner, which we're just going to probably head right to the keeper's hands. Booth. Oh, that one. I see now why. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what in the world that was. It was like three, three idiotic touches in a row. Camotes to Weiss. And Weiss gets tackled from behind. Give me a call on that ref because I want it. All right, Ramirez. Good spot to win that. Wilson back to Booth. Booth to Bernero. To Wilson. Come on, we got it. Let, let's, let's switch it. Let's switch it. Uh, and then a hopeful shot from Weiss. Idiot. <sighs> Well, you got to hand it to Rutgers. They've done what they wanted to do. They clearly wanted to pack it in and then hope for the best. Bill Campbell gets the yellow. I'm not going to worry about it. Nine minutes. And if my other winger gets a yellow. Whew. That's really the only chance those Rutgers has had has been off set pieces that we've just gifted them. <laughs> oh my guys, like they all want to get a yellow before the game ends. And then we're just going to give that guy an open shot. What the fart are you knuckleheads doing? All right, here we go. <laughs> we're going to penalties. All right. Um, so it's got Weiss on there. He's, I mean, he's not terrible, I guess. Uh, all right, so we probably want Bracamontes. Definitely want Caleb Wilson. After that, it's kind of a crapshoot, really. Give Mernero a shot. Um, Toledo or Booth? Uh, let's go Toledo. All right, and I'm going to let him shoot first. And Caleb Wilson is my fourth taker. And there's really no great options. But yeah, we'll do it like that. <clears throat> okay, so then we'll go booth. And I know this is weird, but I, I pick all my... I don't know how you guys do it. I kind of have a system. But it never works, so I don't know why I even bother. Um, yeah, my R should probably be tense. Okay, here we go. It's my first live com of a penalty shootout, I think. I don't remember. All right, Toledo scores. And they equalize. Weiss. Puts us up to one. Schmidt. For Rutgers. Makes it look easy. Actually kicked it right at our keeper. Right down the pipe. Bernero makes it 3 2. Toya. I don't know how to pronounce that. <clears throat> ah. Keeper was there. So Wilson's my best taker, so he'll be the one that misses. All right, he puts it away. 4-3. Come on, give me one save. Make one save, Mikel. Mm, and he's not. Oh, here we go. Bracamontes. All right. So now it's, it's do or die for Rutgers. 
Lori, Lori, we'll say Lori. Ugh, keep her guess wrong. So now it's probably kind of do or die either way, because, you know. All right, Booth makes his. Please don't let this be one of those 20 to 19 shootouts. <laughs> I've never had one like that, but I've seen, I've seen some. I've seen pictures. Stelmac. Ah, <laughs> that's two that we're right to Mendez. You got to save that. If we lose, it's, we deserve to lose because he couldn't make that the same. They kicked it right at him. There was three they kicked right at him. One, he dove out the way. Okay, Flores. I jinx you. I do the X thing on the screen, make it miss. And it doesn't work. So we're really down to my terrible shooters now. Ramirez is awful. Ha! <laughs> he puts it off of their goalkeeper. <laughs> um, I guess that's Mora Mor Morales? It's not Morales. I think Morales is a weird spelling of Morales. Ah, oh, he guessed right, but he couldn't get there. Eight to eight. Nine to eight. Come on, friggin' miss. Am I, the people watching are bored. They want this thing to end. I don't know, maybe this is the most exciting part of the, of the, the, the stream, or the video. Yes! <laughs> Finally! Third time's a charm. Ball goes right to Mendez and he makes a save. All right. Well, that's exciting. Uh, on a penalty shootout, Michigan State wins the Big Ten tournament for the second year in a row. And then they dance and celebrate and run around the stadium. So a deserved result. You know, I mean, I hate, go I hate going to penalty shootouts. But, you know, I, we were the better team. You know, dominated possession. Outshot them both shots and on target. Um, so I... You know, I don't feel like I stole this. We, you know, we earned this. The only thing that kind of makes me feel kind of ugly about it, I guess, is that we didn't win it when we should have. We didn't take our opportunities. And while it's exciting to win the Big Ten tournament, we've we've got to finish those chances if we want to win another national title. So, um, so that'll be this episode. Maybe we'll, I'll bring you back and we'll watch. Um, some of the NCAA tournament. I don't know if I'm going to do it like last year where I slammed multiple games into one episode. I'm not sure how, you know, how great that was. But uh, what I might do is record a live com for each and then pick the ones that I want to actually upload. So, um, so yeah, this is Uncle Sam FM. I'm going to sign off, but I will say we'll, um, the next episode, I'm going to do it. We're going to live com. USA under 20s against Mexico, the USA Mexico War, uh, one of the big, one of the big rivalries in international soccer. Obviously, you know, not as as highly competitive as some of the other big European battles, not as big as Brazil, Argentina, but to those two nations, <clears throat> that's that's a pretty big rivalry. That in real life has kind of gone back and forth. Mexico right now has the upper hand. They're they're the better team, and they've proved it. They have better players. You know, they're putting better players out. But, uh, you know, in FM, this is our chance to kind of turn the tide a little bit, maybe. So that'll be our next episode. This is Uncle Sam FM signing off. See you next time.